Yo, it's me again, Yozu, the singer-songwriter who's not singing today, because this video is an unboxing video from H&M. This is actually my first time buying from H&M online, and I do have some really honest feedbacks regarding the whole process. But before we get to that, let's just start unboxing the goodies. So the items that you see here are not all mine. I wish. Um, it's actually me and my mom sharing out the postage and everything. We thought we could save on the postage, but um, well, we ended up paying more because of um, <clears throat> custom duties. I wasn't aware that my purchase from H&M actually went over the Malaysian toll-free limit for customs and H&M doesn't compensate that fee, I have to pay for it myself. Well, they did write that out on their website, but I think it's not something people would just go and look it up instinctively. And for different countries, they have different policies applied. So I would suggest you to go and check out what are the policies like in your country before making a purchase to avoid making the same mistake. So here I am separating our items. Da -da -da. Alrighty, unboxing time. So the first item is actually a pair of biker shorts. Honestly, I've been hesitant to try this out, but you know what? Life is short, so why not? Okay, honestly, I have no idea what I was trying to do here. <laughs> the next one is a tunic. Okay, I'm going to show you by standing up. I love the color very much and I think it's gonna be nice. Okay, <laughs> as you can see from my facial expression, I was really confused by this piece of item because it's huge. And that moment I thought, just my luck, the risk of online shopping, a mistake. Ah, the pain, the shame. Well, the label says it's size S, so it is my size, but why is it so poofy? Anyway, we'll figure that out later when we try it on. If only we can rip away all the bad things in life just like that. This is my favorite! Yay, look at the collar! Isn't it cute? I love it very much. And this is when I noticed that my head has been chopped off. Well, this is not the aesthetic we want, so we have moved the camera. Okay, okay, continue. Hey, other than the four items from H&M, I would also like to talk about the bra tops I bought from We Enjoy Simplicity. If you have watched my previous video, you would notice that I wear their items a lot. Personally, I find the design of their clothing are simple and chic yet at the same time it's very comfortable and very practical to wear and they fit me very well. Girls, we've all been there, haven't we? Say you found a lovely dress and it looks really good on you, but the moment you raise up your hand, the armholes are too low and your bra is showing. I've given up on so many pieces of clothing because of this problem, which is why I'm so glad to have found this bra top. For example, this bra top that I'm wearing right now underneath this dress. It is actually the same design with the black one, but in white. By wearing this, you don't have to worry about your bra accidentally peeping out and say, hello world. And most importantly, it is very comfortable and it doesn't restrict my movements when I'm wearing it. Also, I've bought two pairs of pants from the same store. Well, confession time. I actually bought this cream colored pants just to match it with the tunic from H&M. Can't wait to try this on later. As for the pair of black pants, now the design is really simple, but it's very sleek. And when you put it on, it gives you a smart casual and chic aura. The biggest bonus, your legs look slimmer. You'll see what I mean when I try it on later. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, the next item is no longer new per se. Because I've worn it in my other videos. But I really want to share it with you guys because I love the character on the t-shirt. Number one, it's a cat. Number two, it looks grumpy. Number three, it is writing stuff. Yeah, it's me, basically. And on the back of the shirt, these are a few of my favorite things. Books, music, cats. This t-shirt is from the collaboration collection brought to you by Uniqlo and Haruki Murakami. Live your life with attitude. Okay, fitting room time! Okay, this is the first outfit, the tunic and the cream pants bought specially for the tunic. 
Honestly, even though it's in size S, it's a little too big for me. So I'm going to apply some instant magic. Okay, magic done. This is how it will look like if it's more fitting. As for the cream pants, no complaints at all. The length, the cutting, the design, everything's perfect. Again, I have no idea what I was doing. Quarantine life makes people go crazy. Okay. Once again, up close, you can see how convenient and practical the bra top is. So for this outfit, I've paired it with a pair of sandals, also from We Enjoy Simplicity. If you prefer to wear sandals with a thicker platform, you can always swap it up to this. If what you're wearing is making you dance, you know it's good. Okay, here comes the item that I've been really worried about. Da -da -da! The summer dress is actually not that bad. Okay, from my very first impression, it is very, very lightweight and soft to the touch. Just by wearing it, you know summer is here. I really felt like a floating jellyfish. But personally, I think for my height, this dress is still a little bit too long. I um, might have accidentally stepped on it a few times during this video, despite the fact that I'm already wearing platform sandals. So that's a problem that we need to fix in the future. The design of the dress from the back is very beautiful. That's why I bought this dress in the first place. It's just the length is a little <clears throat> too long for my height, so we might have to do something about that. Ta-da! My favorite item! I've paired this blouse with a vintage black pinafore and the classic Dr. Martens. So my favorite part about this outfit is the collar and I think the length of the sleeves are perfect. And also I have added some silver rings to go along with it. So this outfit is a combination of grungy, girly and that's what I like. That's what I like, that's what I like. And next we have the biker shorts. Now the bra top that I'm wearing now is the black version of the bra top that I've talked about just now, plus this blazer. So the first blazer is actually a blazer with shoulder pads, as you can see from the more prominent shoulder outline. I think this kind of blazer gives out girl boss vibes. So if you prefer to have something more relaxed, you can pair it with a blazer that gives you a softer silhouette, something like this. It's more casual, more chill, but you can still be ready when you want to. And last but not least, the black pants. Yes, and the bra top is the black bra top, plus this sheer bareback black blouse. I bought this when I was in Melbourne, um, I think it was a while ago. I remember it was summer, I bought it because I thought I would be wearing it, you know, when I hang out with my friends, birthday celebrations, parties, have a few drinks, but I always ended up choosing wearing something else, so this piece has been hibernating in my closet. And today, it has finally found its place and purpose, yay! And I spin, spin, spin like a spinning top And I spin, spin like a spinning top An outfit that makes you twirl is a good outfit To be honest, I love shopping at H&M They have fashionable outfits and trendy items And they also have projects that contribute to sustainability And raise awareness regarding environmental issues But for my next purchase, I will definitely go to the retail store I will not buy from online again. Here's why. So my mom actually made an order for this satin shirt, but a plain basic tee came instead. And because of this, I went online and looked up how to deal with the returns based on the reviews and feedbacks from other online customers. Well, returned items went missing, the parcel was never delivered, the refund never came, and no follow-ups, etc. And we're not sure if there's going to be any hidden fees for this return. It's quite ambiguous. So my mom has decided not to proceed with the return. We'll just treat this incident as buying an experience of never buying from H&M online again. Okay, 
that's all the unboxing and try-ons for today. So if you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe for more videos like this. So take care and I'll see you next time.